What's going on everybody? We are here today at Rockburn Branch Park. This is a really awesome course. Do it of course for you. Obviously, it is our game. Uh, playing the longs, really fun track. I'm excited. Uh, we planned to come here a couple weeks ago, but it fell through, so about to finally get back. Let's do it. has some pretty soft R4s uh, on some cases like one, three, I should have gotten a birdie but that's just a bad hole for me um, and then some of the threes are a little bit harder to get which is good um, but I think they're kind of struggling with the length a little bit there's not a ton of space out here it opens up a little more in the back half but some of the par fours in the front are a little iffy. Just walked over to the other side of the park. This is the separate area. I have a little bit of a walk to get here, but the vibe kind of changes on this side a little bit. Still a couple hard par threes. Um, some still easy par fours, I think, are coming up, but we will see. Still got some scoring opportunities, so let's get some birdies.
That's gonna do it out here for the playing portion of the video. I was able to shoot eight down, which is honestly pretty good out here. I really like this course, this whole track. It's a lot of fun. I always have a good time coming out here. It's a little bit of a trek for me personally, but it's a lot of fun. So let's go back, see how it rates and give it a final score. Let's go. All right, y'all, round is done. We're here. Let's give this thing a rating. First off, the tee pads. On the long side of the course, the tee pads are amazing. It's grooved concrete. They're plenty long enough, plenty wide enough. I see absolutely no issue with them. The only thing is the short pads that they claim to have are toe boards, uh, and they're kind of hard to find. I, I really don't know where all of them are. I've played out there a good couple times, and I've looked for them, and I still don't really know where all of them are. Uh, could be better, obviously, but the long teeths, the long tee pads are so good that it's like, you have to give them a little bit of credit, but it just gets that little bit of downfall. So it's gonna be an eight out of 10. Next up, we have signs. I think the signs out here are perfect. They show all the lines, they show the mandos. Uh, all of the distances are really accurate from what I can tell. Um, I like the way that they're laid out. I think they're a 10 out of 10. Next up, baskets. These veteran baskets are pretty good for the most part. Sometimes I, I feel like the chains are a little bit light, uh, so they're prone to some spit throughs and stuff like that, but they are, they seem to be like fairly new baskets. Um, the red and the white stick out really well uh, for both of the layouts. Um, I think they're really nice, just a little bit inconsistent sometimes being the veteran baskets. Gonna be an eight out of 10. Fairways out here are really well manicured. I don't think there's much uh, in terms of stupid trees or bushes or things in the way. Uh, I think for the most part, they're asking you to throw this shot uh, and there's not anything that's going to stop you if you throw the shot that they're asking for, which is the main thing I see in fairways. If, if there's something wrong with it, it's because you're hitting the line perfect and then something's stopping you that shouldn't. There's nothing like that out here. Um, it's just a little bit of inconsistency in tiny places. Uh, there, there's like a few on the front nine that are just like a little finicky, uh, maybe like one or two holes. So it's not that terrible. It's going to be a nine out of ten. Rough out here is really good when we have it. The front nine is a little bit softer than the back. The back definitely has some rough that comes into play. If you get in there, you're gonna get pretty beat up from it. Uh, but in the front, first couple of holes, not really much going on there in terms of rough. You can kind of throw out into the open fields and then figure it out from there. Gonna be a seven out of 10. Difficulty out here is also pretty solid for the most part. I definitely a little bit above average. Um, it's definitely hard. The front and the back, again, are very much two different things. I think the, the par fours I stand by, I think they're a little soft at times. Um, definitely could use like some elevated baskets or something like that to, to bring them up a little bit, but there's definitely some par threes out here that are really tough to get, uh, but all of them are totally gettable. You definitely can, but 
you're definitely not going to get all of them in one round. Um, so I think the difficulty is a 7 out of 10. Views, nothing super special out here. I think the uh, the vibe is pretty cool once you get to the back nine. The front nine is kind of just average, like, park. There's people walking around. There's playgrounds uh, going on. Back nine, very separate from the rest of it. You won't really see anybody other than disc golfers out there. Maybe a couple walkers, but uh, I think it's, it's good for the most part. But not, like, the greatest thing we've ever seen. Going to be a 6 out of 10. Variety is really awesome out here. Uh, they have you throw in lots of different shots. Uh, one thing that I, I think they do really well is make you throw the, the left to right backhand shot for a righty. Um, a lot of turnovers and stuff like that out here, which you don't see super duper often. I think it, they could use a little more uh, in terms of like putter mid-range shots. There's a lot of times where you're just kind of going big off the tee and seeing what you can get afterwards. Um, and it would definitely boost up a little bit if there wasn't toe boards for the short pads. Uh, so for that reason, it's going to be 8 out of 10. Flow is really the one thing that's a little bit wonky. Uh, some of the holes kind of intersect a little bit. You have to like walk past some holes to get to other ones, especially on the front nine. And well, no, there's some, there's some times in the back nine too where it's a, it's a little bit confusing if you haven't played it. Um, if it's your first time out there and you don't have U-Disc, it can be a little bit weird finding some of them. It's not criminal or anything. I just think it's kind of average for the most part. Going to be a 5 out of 10. And then finally, replayability. The two layouts out here in terms of the baskets are really awesome. But like I've been saying, toe boards for the short pads, not the best thing ever. Uh, even when I've taken some of my more beginner um, friends out there, I've had them just play the long pads because they're just nicer to throw off of. Um, but with that said, the variety of the short and long baskets are still pretty good. Uh, definitely could use a little bit better. Um, manicuring a little bit better care on those shorter pads for the beginner friendly people but they're doing a, a decent job so far so seven out of ten and then finally we have the culmination of all of those things giving the final score for rockburn branch 7.5 this course is awesome uh i i've been playing for a little over two years now and for some reason i just never went out here until a couple months ago and i've loved every time i've gone out and played it's a super super fun track if you haven't played it and you're in the maryland area i don't know what you're doing you ought to go out there and check it out there's the uh rock caps go leagues going on now uh they can be rated rounds go check those out for sure um they're doing awesome stuff out there it, it, it really is a great course but that is going to do it for me today guys thank you so much for tuning in we've had a little bit of a break but we're back now definitely got a lot more cool stuff planned for the summer. So please like, comment, subscribe, all that good YouTube stuff. And until next time, I will see you guys later. Peace, homies.